It's the Historical Society's annual picnic, and they're having it at Fructova, which is the Museum Society's facility. And they're all breaking up to go and have the tour inside the building. And later on, maybe the flour mill. And I'm not sure if we'll be there for that, but it's a really nice day for this. Beautiful, sunny, everything. And they've got a really beautiful shelter. So, hey, if you're thinking of a place that you'd like to have nice views, nice places, nice stuff to talk about, place to be, to have your get-together event or whatever, you should talk to the Museum Society about their covered shelter. See what they've done? Pat Burns Wagon. That used to be downtown in the uh, facilities around Gyro Park. It used to be red, but apparently when they were doing the <laughs> refinishing of this, they found it underneath the red, it was green. So that's the original color. What are you sitting on? I'm sitting on Senator Pat Burns wagon. Yes. And they've redone it. You might have seen it before downtown in the uh, places around Driver Park. It used to be red, but when they went to fix it and, and spruce it up, they found out that underneath the red paint, green paint. So this is the original color. Uh, and sh loyal viewers of this program will have seen this wagon being put together mm -hmm. about six months ago. That's right. In the winter time. Yep. And you'll probably be able to see it in the parade. I think it's going to be in the Canada Parade. The Canada, don't bang that. Because <laughs> it's going to go right through into the... Well, I'm, I'm trying to rub off the bird poop. <laughs> don't touch bird poop. Uh -oh. Don't you know? Hey, I'm Greg. I'm Les. Welcome to the video podcast of the website, whatsupgf.com. This is where we talk about everything that is going on in the Boundary Country. And where are we today? We're up at Fructova, which is the Boundary Museum's new home in the west end of the valley. It's a really nice day here and the uh, Historical Society. Yes, right? uh, which we are members of. The Boundary Historical Society is having a picnic here at the Boundary Museum. Mm -hmm. And it was a great day. They had a little slideshow, they did a little talking, and, and they, they showed off this lovely wagon, and they showed off what they've done with the museum. Yep. It's beautiful, it's better than it ever looked downtown, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah. I think I agree to it. Really, that's good. Yep. Done a great job. So, I mean, me and Les had know a little something about the one downtown, so. Just a bit, yep. Just a little bit. So, uh, we're very happy to be here. We're glad that they asked us out, and uh, what we do here on the show, in case you're not aware, is Les and I, we talk about all the things going on in the Boundary Country. In which the coming you, week. Yeah. Which you will find at the website. What's up, gf.com. That's it's right. It's a big, big calendar. calendar. Yeah, and you go to the day you want to do something, you look at that day, and it gives you a list of everything. For instance, Les, why don't you tell us something that is coming up on that calendar? Something is coming up on that calendar? Well, on Tuesday, the Boundary Women's Resource Center is having a free workshop for women. That's in the morning from 9.30 to 11. It's improving our self-esteem, well, women's self-esteem, because it's for women, and it's free. Did I mention that? It's free. You have to register, but there's contact information on the website. Excellent. What have you got? I've got uh, Spotlight Films. There, I got a poster for it. Les, ready for that? Bam. Uh, Tuesday, it's a Spotlight film called Father and Sons. It's about four very distinct and engaging father and son relationships, and the drama and humor woven in those dysfunctional settings. I know this. The title says Father and Sons. So is it? Four different relationships with the same father? I don't know. I don't know. Or a father has more than one son. Yeah. I think that's legal in this country, anyhow. <laughs> yeah, I think that's legal. Yeah. So far, it's legal. Um, it's on June 28th. Uh, that'll that's be at the Jam Theater. Yeah, that's right. Do you like books? Do you like reading? Do you like to get books for I cheap? just finished a book. You did? Yes. What book did you finish? I finished Game of Thrones. Ah, and that's by being George made into a... R. R. Martin. It was made. It just finished as well. I kind of was reading along with the show just made ahead. Made into a show, yeah. yeah. An excellent read. If you watched the TV show and liked it, read the book. Well, I don't think it'll be there, but they are having a book sale. You can try and find it. That's at the Grand Forks Public Library, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. The information's on the website. You know I love my library book sales. Uh -huh. And if you're... I, I'm going to go on a little rant, Les. Okay, rant alert. All right, put that rant alert, rant alert. Uh, smoke you, coming out of his ears. If you're going to the, the Grand Forks Library book sale and you pick up five books, give them more than a dollar. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, don't, just because don't it says be by greedy. donation, don't be stingy. It's a donation. Don't look at it as what you're paying for those books. Look at it as a donation. So you cough up a little more in the buck if you're going to take more than one book. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. Oh, definitely, yeah. You know, you don't have to, but I'm just telling you, if I'm there, I'll be watching you. 
<laughs> the long arm of Greg will find you. Hey, you know what else is going on on Tuesday? That uh, I talked about Tuesday a little while ago. Uh, Farmer's Market. It's on Tuesday and Friday. That's right. And it's going to be on Friday, even though that's July 1st. I believe they're going to be having Farmer's Market for the first part of the day in Jarrah Park. Uh, which leads us, of course, into what is going on on that Friday. Happy birthday to us and you. Oh, okay. Canada. 1867. Canada. How, how old are we now? 1867. Do the oh, math. Oh, gee, Go. 144 years. Is that what it is? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're right. A dozen dozens. Yeah. Did you know that? How old? Oh, oh, hey, hey. Allie's coming over here, and this is an advance notice thing here, but we're dragging Allie in because. This is Allie. Hi, She's everybody. The staff at the oh, museum. There you go. There you go. Hi. Yeah. All right. I'm in the picture now. This is good. How's That's it right. going, Les? Oh, it's going pretty good. Good, good. It's so short, though. I mean, Greg is like. You know. Sorry, I'll stand on my tiptoes. Anyway, you I got just. You poster there, right? I do. I just came busting in here because I wanted to make sure you were letting people know about our Pie in July event. I'll hold up my poster here. It's over here. Yeah. Over here. Here. We'll get that. Yep. There we go. Okay. So at Pie in July, it's going to be a great afternoon of family fun, July 16th at 1 p.m. up here at the Boundary Museum at the Fructova Heritage Site. Should be a lot of fun. We've got Brown Bag Theater coming up to do an encore performance. Oh, cool. Yeah, and I'm just working on getting some live music up here. Are they going to have like a, a show about pie? There or is museums? a pie. Well, it, it's a, a Fructova here it means uh, of the fruit, right? That's right, yeah. So we figure what better way to celebrate that and the Dukabor hospitality concept mm -hmm. than with fruit pie. Wow. So we decided to have pie in July and we're going to be having some baking contests and some pie eating contests. What a so, holy yeah. Look at all the bases covered. I'm, well, I'm hoping pie. so, but we need people to register in these baking contests. So you can give me a call up here, 442-3737. And yeah, register and come on up and join us. It should be great. Thank you very much. I'll Ellie. let you guys get back to the usual. Thank you. Okay. What are you trying to get rid of me? You think she was better than me or something? She's cuter than you. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> and you know uh, how professional she was. Too. She I know. I don't want to talk her. about it. I'm a little angry. I'm a little. I'm scared actually. Oh, gee, shaking in his boots. <laughs> <sighs> Let's talk about happy thoughts. Happy Canada thoughts. Day. Yes. That's right. Lots of things happening on Canada Day this year. Well, you have multiple locations. Starting off in the morning, there's a group actually that's from three locations. They're going to take a walk up to Observation Mountain. Did you know that? No. Yeah. It's on the website. We have a Canada Day page and the coming events. There's a Canada Day 2011, and you go in there, and everything is, is happening. Is there a tab again. there for it? Up on the menu, it's coming events right under there. I'll put it on as a splash. Yeah, the they're the looking at it right now. Yeah, they can be looking at it right now. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, Les will go through some of the events, but of course, if, if it goes too quickly, it's all at the website, whatsupgf.com. So That's Les, right. why don't you just mention a few of the things that are going on in Canada Day. Okay, well, after they come down from Observation Mountain at 11 o'clock, there's going to be, well, they might be a bit late for it, but the Elks are having a pancake breakfast. That's across the street in the Overweighty Parking Lot. Across the street from Gyro Park, where most of the festivities are going to be happening. Uh, Farmer's Market's going to be there in the park first part of the day. The Art Gallery's going to have children's bike decorating for the parade. That's before the parade starts, and the parade starts at around 10 o'clock. Okay. Well, maybe a little 15 minutes after, we'll see. But they start at Selkirk College, and they go through downtown, and the map is on the website, whatsupgf.com. We and have there, food concessions. Yeah. There, and then there's all sorts of events, really. I That's mean, right. There's opening ceremonies starting around 11. There's pipes and drums. There's going to be a kid zone. There's going to be a uh, pipe band. Kids there's going to be a, face painting, temporary tattoos. They're going to open the Heritage Gallery. There's going to be a uh, cake. There's going to be all sorts. You know, and you know, cake. we could go on for hours here about cake. all the great things. Uh, I didn't get any cake last year. That's because uh, too many people got in front of me. Ugh. Well, you know what? You gotta. Here's how, what you do to get your cake. Go to whatsupgf.com, plan your strategy for that day because all the information is there. There's nowhere else you need to go. And the last thing, I have to mention this really because they're trying to put this on. Zach Waterloo of Waterloo Audio is bringing in three bands. The Sadies. I know City Council wanted to call them the Sadies, but they're called the Sadies. They're, they're not a nothing band. They're, they're somebody else. And they're bringing in Ford Pier Vengeance Trio and Fish and Bird. And that's going to be at James Donaldson Park. Perfect. Baseball diamond, yeah. So, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's that's it. That's it for today. So uh, anything we talked about, if you're not sure, if you caught, if you missed a number, if you missed a name, head to the website whatsupgf.com. Yeah. It is all there. I want to thank Allie for stepping in and doing an excellent job. She yeah. could probably take the show over next week, I think. Gee, Liz, we, we could, could get, stay at home and sleep we, in. We could get Lizanne and Allie to do their own show. 
uh, we'd be done. No, who would watch us? That's a good point. If I had the choice between those two and us, uh, there is no choice. So I'm Greg. <sighs> I'm Wes. Oh, wait, 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 before we go, if you want to put something on the website, there's a little tab there. Send Just us your email. Us. Send us your email. If you don't want to send us an email, head down to, to select office products on Market Avenue. Hand the information to Lorraine. She's lying over there on the yeah. grass. And yeah. she's suntanning. And it'll get on the website. And best of all, it's all for free. free. So I'm right. Greg. That's Les. Have a great Canada Day, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Bye-bye.